So do you think academics at IIT are not as good as MIT or those are equally good? When I came to MIT and MIT hasn't had that kind of curfew. So hi guys, today we have Aarti who will be sharing her experience at MIT. So hi Aarti. Hi, I am Aarti. I graduated from IIT Roorkee in 2016 and joined MIT in the same year, in, in the fall semester. Wow. Um, for a PhD program in geophysics. So you did your undergrad in geophysics too? Yes. Wow. So how is your how is your experience so far? It's been great, very exciting, uh, stressful at times, but uh, you know that's what you're signing up for. Uh, I've gotten to meet a lot of interesting people. I've gotten to work on some very interesting uh, problems, have some very stimulating um, stimulating talks. Um, gotten to see a lot of uh, a lot of things, having met some really cool people that I look up to. So amazing. What do you think, what was something that helped you get into MIT? Was was that the IIT tag or your experience, your projects or anything you think of? Uh, I don't think it was the IIT tag, although there are a lot of people here uh, from IIT Madras, Kharagpur, Bombay, because academic environment in those IITs is pretty well established. There are a lot of um, students who are interested in research. There's a substantial subgroup of IIT Madras, Bombay, Karapur uh, students here, but there were not that many uh, IIT Rurki students. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that, like, just even recognizing the name it doesn't act against you. Mm -hmm. um, so there are several uh, things that go into that admission uh, admission process. With, uh, first is your GPA and your uh, GI GRE scores. But again, even it's it's not definitive because I've definitely met international students. At least they have a lot of variation in their uh, GRE score. But what is common in all of them is that we're all pretty good at um, whatever uh, they were doing. So briefly, I'll explain the kind of internships that I did uh, while I was at IIT Roorkee. Mm -hmm. um, one summer, I interned with with Professor Shastri at IIT Roorkee uh, itself and that was a summer project um, in biogeophysics. The next year I interned at Indian Institute of Astrophysics with Professor Sujin uh, Sain Gupta and it was really this experience that made me realize that I liked research because Professor Sain Gupta was very, was very passionate about his field so uh, I had a very fun experience uh, that summer. Uh, I also um, had the opportunity to be uh, in the Google Summer of Code uh, program wow. um, twice. And in the next year, I worked at Indian National Center for Ocean Information uh, so, uh, Services in Hyderabad, which was again a very interesting experience. A lot of very bright uh, pe people work there, and they have done some phenomenal work in a very short amount of time, um, which means India is now much much better prepared for tsunami and extreme weather services. So I was also fortunate that the doctor uh, Vineet Gehlot, he um, allowed me to be in his conting, um, uh, contingency and our project was uh, selected for the 35th Indian uh, Science Expedition to Antarctica. Wow. So I did a part of my master's uh, dissertation on that. And it was uh, again during this time that I uh, applied to uh, MIT for fall 2016. So that shows that it's all about the impactful projects you do and how much impact you make to the people around you and that's how she got into MIT as well. And scores do matter but the impact you make on people's life matter more matters more. So how do you think MIT is better than IIT? Is it the research you do? Is it about the diversity? Is it about the projects or professors? So in what, in what aspects MIT is better than IITs? Um, I won't speak for other IITs, uh, but I will speak for IIT Roorkee. Um, so it's, it's been three years since I uh, have been to IIT Roorkee, so I won't comment on what is currently happening. Um, but I should highlight that the student body uh, and the new director uh, 
have been very active in improving Roorkee, uh, IT Roorkee in a lot of senses. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the things that I comment on, they might not be applicable uh, anymore. Anymore, mm -hmm. yeah. So in in IIT Roorkee, when I entered, there was uh, a curfew timing on the girls' hostels that we had to be in our hostels by 10 p.m., which was not applicable to boys. I was also a part of the uh, team that continuously petitioned the administrative body to get rid of that. In 2015, we were able to get that extended from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. And after I graduated, um, the student body was able to get that curfew completely removed. When I came to MIT, and MIT hasn't had that kind of curfew on its dormitories for a very, very long time, most of the things that you need to access emergent, uh, urgently on the campus are uh, open 24-7 with IDs. Uh, maybe not every day on the year, but most, most of the times. Some holidays uh, are, of course, an exception. Um, that and there is much less uh, bureaucracy that you encounter uh, as a student. So if you wanted to do something, there are the administrative people will take care of it for you. And um, also one, <laughs> a very notable difference is that the administrative uh, staff here at MIT is also very enthusiastic about MIT's mission, which is to be uh, to be a leader in the uh, leader of the future. Um, so they are also very enthusiastic people, and you never really hear no for an answer. You hear, okay, I can't do that, but I can direct you to somebody who can. And and this is not to be confused with going round and round in um, offices, uh, Indian bureaucratic offices. Um, a lot of the administrative things are frankly much easier here than at, uh, than at IIT Roorkee, for example. Um, getting my transcript from IIT Roorkee was always a hassle. Oh. You would you'd go to the office uh, several times and they would turn you back and like, oh no, come. You, you had to wait a really long time, which was kind of annoying because you're in the Institute of Technology. You, it's, it's a digital age, it's 2011, not 1995. So you should have upgraded by now. Um, which is the opposite of the experience that I had here. Um, it was very, whenever I needed my transcripts for any application, um, I was able to get it, uh, get it pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also just how enthusiastic uh, or how accessible the faculty, um, uh, the, fa the faculty is. I think there's in general a less hierarchical environment here at MIT than at IIT Roorkee so you feel that the faculty is very uh, is much more easily accessible the kind of projects that are available here they are very good very exciting uh, very much on the edge uh, of the future so do you think academics at IIT are not as good as MIT or those are equally good um, I won't, again, I won't comment on other IITs, but I will comment on um, IIT Roorkee. Um, I think that's a, that's a very loaded question, <laughs> um, but um, I, I took some classes at IIT Roorkee which were very, uh, which were very engaging and um, I, the, the percentage of classes I've enjoyed are larger here. But I think that's also a function of just the number of students you have in a class, like the professor to student ratio. Like I remember one professor to almost 100 students at IIT Roorkee. And it becomes really hard for the professor to engage um, in a constructive manner with students if there are that many, uh, that many students. So um, you have a lot of great professors in uh, India also and I think one thing that um, one complaint that I heard from a lot of professors was that the students in India did not take the initiative. So, uh, in my personal experience, also, yeah, professor, yeah, every time I I, I approached a professor at uh, IIT Roorkee, um, the reply was always constructive, and they were always happy to help if you were interested in getting the help. And I. Um, I think that's something also that's um, y you can't 
completely blame the academic system only on professors but also the the students it's just that not everyone is ex- people got into iit uh, iit is because of peer and family pressure and not everyone is is excited to be there to do what they are doing so that uh, that plays a role in shaping the environment i completely agree but most of the professors at iit are really good as well my my cousin he's also in iit rurki he was he graduated last year he also joined there so i am not saying iits are less better than mit but for that reason i'm asking you to share some of your thoughts how iits are better than mit in some aspects i'm pretty sure that uh, that is uh, one thing I, i i i know myself that is like stress level because sometimes in some cases stress level is more in mit and some cases it's more in iit so it varies right so do you agree or not uh, yes uh, definitely i definitely had periods of time which was which was very stressful at iit rurki iit rurki is a little bit more relaxed than mit and it can be better for your for your general uh, health another thing that's really uh, important to keep in mind is um, just how old MIT is versus how old uh, IITs are, and if you compare that uh, with the length of time, then IITs have done exceptionally well for the amount of time that they have been uh, in existence, especially for the amount of time. They are also like objectively very good, but also taking into ma- consideration that they have only been in existence for this amount of time, mm-hmm. it's 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 important to appreciate uh, what we have. Um, and again if if there are things that you don't like at, at iit rurki our administration has been very open to new ideas and improving things and um if you follow the iit rurki page on facebook you'll you see a lot of interesting things that are happening at iit rurki and it's great to see being so dynamic i also want to share very important thing that i have noticed so after clearing iit jai or after clearing iit jai advance the iq level of that student is more than the iq level entry, entering into mit because you you go through such a so much stress you, uh, right I, i i i think that's a statement that's thrown around often but um i i, I I've met uh, so, some undergrads here at MIT and they are exceptionally sharp, exceptionally bright and very excited and passionate about what they're doing. So and I think just just comparing the IQ level of the, the two populations doesn't do any it doesn't serve any purpose because ultimately it doesn't matter what what you have it matters what you do with it. Okay. So uh I haven't I personally haven't found any substantial So can you please share your best experience at MIT? Uh yes, I would say that that is working with my advisors. Uh both my advisors have been very um uh, enthusiastic uh, about uh, my projects and they've been very supportive. I've gotten a lot of great feedback, so I feel that I've uh gr- grown a lot in uh, in 3 years um as a as an academic. So working with them is very exciting. amazing so now the final question i have is about salary so as you already said that <laughs> starting salary at mit is a little bit better as compared to other institutes so that's why that's why that's an advantage but other than that it's not much of a difference right after you grow up in your career it's you pretty much land in the same place um uh, again this is a very wide uh, wide question um I haven't graduated yet but I've definitely uh seen that MIT alumni network is uh is pretty wide and uh, MIT alumni are at some very interesting places um in all uh, in all industries um and I think coming from an established name from where a lot of people have come from and have gone on to done great things in that particular industry uh is an advantage and that is why um you'll see, for example see harvard disproportionately represented at uh fortune 500 ceo positions as an example or why stanford is disproportionately represented in or at, at least for some time was disproportionately represented in silicon valley founders that's correct so the later stages of your career are, are dependent on the early stages of your career and in the early stages of your career more doors definitely open to you 
um, coming from um, MIT, Harvard, or other um, Ivy Leagues and well-established univer uh, established universities that have made a name for themselves, but it's it's neither uh, it's neither necessary nor sufficient to come from a good university. It all depends on the qualities that you exhibit and your work ethic. So just because you are not from MIT or IIT or something like that, it, it's not a limiter on your uh, career. And, and I think. Even from India, there are plenty of good examples. Canada is not from IIT. Correct. So. I definitely agree. So, thank you so much, uh, Arti. It was a great discussion. Great having you here. So, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.